Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how stacking your images can turn your DSLR into a megapixel monster. Fellow photographer Ian Norman does a great job explaining the technique and I will link his video below which I recommend you watch for a better understanding of how this process works. I decided to create this video just to expand on the stacking method a little bit more. Now Ian explains in his video to access the subpixel level to increase the megapixels of your camera, you want to take a picture handheld because this slight movement in between the photos actually helps your sensor process different parts of the image. Well the one problem in this video that he doesn't address is how do we use this technique when trying to do a long exposure. I decided to overcome this challenge and create a solution. So I went to Jersey City to capture a sunrise and to get a long exposure shot of the Hudson River. I was using a tripod, but I needed to add movement in between each photo, so I decided to bump my tripod just a little bit. For example, I would take a long exposure photo, let it finish, then hit my tripod, and then take a next photo and repeat the process for about 15 to 20 times, which should give me enough data to create a super resolution image. As I scroll through the images, you can see what I mean about getting the camera movement between each photo. Now with that info out of the way, I'm going to show you how to create a 100 megapixel photo. Select a batch of photos and open them in Photoshop on the same layer. Since I intentionally created movement in between each picture, I need to auto align the images. Select all the photos and go to Edit, Auto Align. Then click OK. Check the images by turning the eye on and off to make sure that they aligned properly. If one or two images did not line up, then just delete them from the stack. Now go to Image, Image Size. Make sure you check the resample button and set it to nearest neighbor. Next select the percentage option for your height and width. And now you can increase the photo size up to 200%, which in my case it would put my picture at over 100 megapixels since I was using a Nikon D800, which is already a 36 megapixel camera. This would just take way too long the to process, so I'm going to keep mine around 150%, which is just shy of 100 megapixels. Then click OK, and this will resize all your images, which may take a few minutes. Next we need to select all the images and right click. Choose convert to smart objects, which again will take some time due to the size of the photos. Once that is done, go to layer, smart object, stack mode, and select mean. This will average all your photos together. Then save your image and let's take a look in Lightroom. Here's our 100 megapixel image without having to do a panorama stitching method or anything like that. Let's take a look at a comparison between the 36 megapixel image versus the super resolution image. As you can see, stack and really increase the detail nicely. We also have a lot less grain and a lot less noise. I'm going to keep on scrolling around the image so you guys could see the benefits of this technique. Just so you know, this is my first time attempting to create a super resolution image. And I'm really excited I was able to do this uh, with a tripod since most of my landscape work is at dawn and dusk when a tripod is needed. Now you may be wondering, why would you want an image this large? And it, it really depends on you. Maybe your client wants a 10 foot print for their wall and you're afraid your 24 megapixel camera isn't going to give you enough quality that you need to print that large. This technique will give you the ability without having to rent or buy a medium format camera. Maybe you plan on cropping the image as a 16 by 9 panorama or some other dimension. This super resolution will give you the ability to crop the image in many ways while maintaining detail. Or maybe you want to sell your work to stock agencies which want large high quality images. This stacking method will help you achieve that goal. So thanks for watching and please hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date. Check out Ian's video and sorry if I'm a little sick so I might sound a little weird. It is what it is. 
I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.